the purpose of this video is to show you how I connected a camera DVR power supply through the CAT5 wire. This mind this is analog camera, not the IP camera, and we can still utilize CAT5 cable for that. In order to do this, we'll require an add-on. It's called Balan video Balan on both ends, on end of camera and on the end of the actual recorder or DVR. So, and to do that, we'll take a regular CAT5 wire, we'll strip it, and over here we have four pairs. I, in my case, only used three, two, four power, like they doubled up, orange and brown, as positive, negative. And this one, the green, it's a single pair, and it's used only to connect to the balen itself. So you separate it, so your white would be plus, and your green will be minus. And this way, it creates a magnetic field around it, and that's how the data is being transferred over through from the camera to the DVR. Now, on the DVR side, we'll do the same thing. We'll just mind you'll have to leave longer much longer wires, uh, much longer strip though. And again, we use only three wires here in this particular case. We'll keep fourth one as a spare. This goes to Balen green. Those two power wires are going into the power supply, into the positive and into the negative terminals of the power supply. The actual Balen will be then connected into the DVR. Oh, it will be connected to the DVR. Mind, this is not a working unit, so nothing is going to short. Otherwise, we would have a short circuit already. Connects to the DVR, and that's how it's all done via CAT5. Instead of using coaxial wire and running a separate power to the camera, or use a semis and then have to use a coaxial add-ons to that. 